Hello and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. We have another Lenovo ThinkPad review, this time the P16S Gen 4 or Generation 4 laptop PC. This one has the AMD Ryzen AI7 Pro processor. It's the first of the AI series that I'm reviewing. It's of course also available with an Intel Core Ultra series. We'll go over the specs, the outside, what's inside, and the benchmarks too. Let's get started. This laptop PC has an AMD Ryzen AI7 Pro 358 core processor, 2 GHz base, 5 GHz boost, AMD Radeon 860M graphics, 32 GB of DDR5 5600 dual channel RAM, 512 GB M2 PCIe 5.0 X4 NVMe SSD, 16 inch 1920x1200 IPS anti glare touch display, MediaTek Wi Fi 7 with Bluetooth 5.4. Two USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports. Two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 ports. HDMI output. Five megapixel webcam with privacy shutter and human presence detection. Dual mic array. Backlit keyboard. Discrete TPM 2.0. 65 watt USB-C power adapter. Windows 11 Pro 64 bit and weighs 3.77 pounds. The top of the PC is textured black plastic. The webcam does bump out just past the body, but they did a nice job rounding this edge so it shouldn't catch on anything. There is a privacy shutter, so if it's red and there's a red dot in the middle, then it is disabled and covered. There's dual microphones, one on either side of the webcam. Got a full-size keyboard with 10 key number pad, power buttons up here. Large touchpad with clicky buttons and the track point just like in the 90s. On the left side we have two USB type C's that do power delivery 3.0, data transfer, and display port which can be used for docking stations too. HDMI in full size, USB type A which is always on, and a headset jack. On the right side we have a collapsible gigabit ethernet, USB type A, and a Kensington lock location. To open up the laptop, you have to back out all these screw locations. There's pop clips on either side and across the back. Then you have to lift from the back to slide out the front lip because the way they did these catches on the front, you will break them if you pry from the front. There's a very large system battery and stereo speakers on either side. This is the M2 NVMe SSD location with a heat spreader. RAM is located under this cover and it is dual channel DDR5. The processor is underneath this, which has a heat pipe to the heat sink and the fan assembly. Wi Fi card is soldered on and you can see the antennas. This would be a wide area wireless network card, which would be cellular and is not populated from the factory, and there aren't antennas present for it either. The overall pass mark score for this PC is 6655, which is the 72nd percentile. CPU mark is 26830, the 83rd percentile. 2D mark is 981, the 81st percentile. And 3D mark is 5437, the 38th percentile. This is only integrated Radeon graphics. Memory mark is 2738, the 52nd percentile. Disk mark is 45016, the 95th percentile. It's no secret I love the ThinkPads from Lenovo, but this P-Series is a mobile workstation, and I think it's a decent step up from the E-Series, which are the more budget-conscious Lenovos, but this one is actually pretty budget-friendly, too. I often pair these with a docking station, so when you're at your desk, you can use it like a desktop with a couple of monitors, external keyboard and mouse, and then unplug it to take it with you. I'll include a link in the description to purchase the laptop and that docking station, and if you can use those links, it really helps support the channel. If you have any questions, get them in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and if there's anything you want to add I didn't include, get that in the comments too. I'm always glad to learn something new. Thanks.